Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We got a Snyder verse update. And I got a couple things. The first thing I want to talk about is this picture right there. That right there. Zack Snyder this morning at like 9 a.m. <laughs> Don't know why. Goes on Vero and posts a picture of Jared Leto Joker. Now, to me, that that actually looks more like it is the mannequin from that or uh, that display that they had in Texas. It doesn't actually look like it was Jared Leto. It just doesn't look real. It does look a little fake, but that's besides the point. Why is he posting DC content on Vero still? Because we know he's hard at work on Rebel Moon right now. He's got to be planning Army of of the Dead 2 or Planet of the Dead. Uh, he's got other projects that are lined up with Netflix right now that he's he's been working on. So what is it about DC? Why is he continuing it? And for the past few weeks, been posting a good bit when it comes to DC stuff. Come on, guys. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to figure this stuff out. And I, for one, am beyond excited because... Like I alluded to last week, you know, there's things that are being talked about out there. Uh, I know that Sil Abdul and Mikey Sutton over at uh, Sil Abdul Inc. on his YouTube channel, he's recently discussed how, and Mikey has discussed how Zack Snyder had a meeting with David Zaslav, and they've talked about what his intentions would be if he were to come back and continue the Snyder verse in some form or fashion. Those are conversations that are happening. That, that is amazing. And, and people are still discounting any possibility for a future <laughs> that, that involves a Snyder verse. And that's shocking to me. It really is shocking to me because there's so much money to be made there. Now, I have said in the past, and I still believe this, that if we wanted this thing to be a guarantee, I think the best course, and this is me, I'm not saying this is anything Zach saying, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying this to, to rile up anybody in the fandom, but if you were to ask me, I would have to say that the quickest and, and most Efficient way to get something out would be to either go graphic novel or animated form. But I know that Zach doesn't want to do that. Uh, I, I, we, we can tell by the way he talked about the universe in the past that this is something that he loves. This is not something that he wants to just you know throw on a page and say, well, this is the best we can do. He, he will fight to get what he believes it needs to be. And... I believe at this point in time, if my meter, you know, one to a hundred, I would say I'm over 50%. I'm probably closer to 75% at this point in time, believing that we will see live action Snyderverse continued, continued within the next two to three years, four years at most. So I, I'm excited about that. Now we also had a little bunch of information coming out last week. Now, last week, I, I cannot remember if I talked about this. Uh, I, I may have, uh, but I, I, I kind of want to touch on it a little bit more. The Batfleck stuff, the Ben Affleck uh, turning down a Batman project for HBO Max. Now, the more that I've gotten to talk to some people who are in the know the more that it's starting to become clear that that report was not accurate completely. So if people remember back prior to DC fandom, the first DC fandom last year, uh, the, there was news that broke that Ben Affleck had signed on not only to reprise being Batman in the flash, but also do an HBO max series. I don't know if it was before, maybe been after or something like that. As it turns out, there were discussions that have been going on for quite some time about that, about him being in or doing a Batman show or series or movie for HBO max. WB is, they're not dumb. I mean, it may look like they're dumb sometimes from, a lot of the decisions they've made, but 
they're not complete imbeciles and they know that people want more Ben Affleck Batman. So they were trying to make that happen. But from what I understand, Affleck, he wanted to do it with Snyder in some form or fashion, not necessarily Snyder directing, but Snyder being a producer, executive producer, but heavily involved with the creation of this project. And with the current regime at Warner Brothers, it did not appear that that was going to be possible. Whether it was Snyder that was kind of pushing and saying, well, I want this and this and this to have control in this way, or Warner Brothers just saying, we don't want Snyder at all. Whatever it was, ended up coming back around that, unfortunately, at this point in time, we're not going to see and this was last year, Ben Affleck coming back as Batman because they just could not work out those details. And from what I understand, could not get Zack Snyder on his, on the project at all, whether it's a producer or just a producer. And that's what kind of pushed Ben Affleck out of it. Now, a lot of people were questioning, well, why did he say he'd come back for the Flash then? And Zach, Zach is not heavily involved with that. And you're correct. But when he was signed on to come do the Flash he did get some creative control over the character arc in that movie. And one of the things that he did was he got to write and help create uh, a potential send off for the character. Now, a lot of people think that that was going to be him, them killing Ben Affleck's Batman off. And I believe originally that was the plan, unfortunately, but plans change, especially when Zack Snyder's Justice League became the worldwide phenomenon that it did, and it became um, it became something that everyone knew that they, they need to find a way to continue these characters in some form or fashion. So uh, what I understand is they are they are at this point in time, at this point in time, they they are not, they are not writing off Ben Affleck's Batman and killing him off or finding a way to get rid of him. Rather, there will be a fitting way that when the Snyderverse is restored, they will be able to continue it over here while everything that the Flash does moves in their direction. You know, the, the Snyderverse will be fitting in its Elseworlds little cocoon over here and then the DCU proper will move in their direction. So that's what's going on there. And then finally, Henry Cavill. A lot of people were kind of up in arms. Like The Rock stated the other day that, oh, I can't wait to fight Superman. Paraphrasing here. I just don't know who the Superman will be. People need to calm down. All right. There are NDAs. There are things that people attach to films. They cannot say things. The Rock is a performer. If there has ever been a performer that understands how to hype people up to the best of their ability, it's The Rock. The Rock is probably one of the best entertainers to ever, ever be in the entertainment industry. It is insane how he is able to just make so much money <laughs> and get people so hyped up for things. He, if he was able to say who the Superman was, if he was able to say it's Henry Cavill, he would say it, but he can't. Now, if people remember way back when, way back, I want to say July, maybe March, April. I don't know. It was earlier this year. Henry Cavill was flying to the United States and he was reading a script and he said, excited to get back to work with my friends or something like that. He was coming. He was coming to be in Black Adam. It's believed that it's just a small cameo in Black Adam, but it's supposed to set up the future events between him and Black Adam. Come on, guys. Warner Brothers... They may be dumb in some aspects, but they're not imbeciles. And they know that people want Henry Cavill. And they know that they and they know that people want Henry Cavill to face off against Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. But until things are official, they're not going to announce it. They're not going to say this is official. 
they also don't want to ruin a surprise, a potential surprise in Black Adam, at least this early. You got to remember, Black Adam is still, what, seven months away, eight months away. They don't want to ruin and give away that potential shock and surprise at this point in time. So stay patient. Calm down a little bit. The Rock knows what he's doing when he's talking. Uh, he's not going to purposely piss people off. I know a lot of people think that because he did that, he's not in Zack Snyder's team. He's on Hamada's team. And I don't understand why there's this divide between Hamada and Zack Snyder. I get, I understand that people are mad at Hamada because he did not green light Snyderverse being continued. But remember what he came into. Snyderverse was already dead when he came in to DC and being the head of the DC film entertainment side that was dead. He had to put it back all together and try and create something to move forward. So just stay patient. It's okay. It'll be better. It'll be okay. Just trust the process because things will, things are looking up. Let's just say that things are looking up for sure when it comes to the Snyderverse. What's going on, guys? Did you enjoy this video? If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And for more, hit subscribe with that little notification bell. That way, you'll be notified every time a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.